Hello, everybody. Um, I got something I would like to talk about real quick. Um, I know everybody saw the Super Bowl. I'm not. I'm not a sports guy. I'm just there to see the. Uh, I watched some of the commercials and I saw some of the trailers. Um, I know I'm really excited for Black Widow. That's the main one. I, that was that trailer was great. Uh, it was some other stuff they had already showed. Uh, I already saw Fast and the Furious Nine. I'm excited for that too. I already got my tickets for that one. Um, they showed a 007 trailer. Uh, what else did they show? I was hoping they would have showed a, a Godzilla vs. Kong, but unfortunately we didn't get that. Um, that's okay though. Um, what else? Um, they showed, I think, a Top Gun. I missed that one. I saw it on YouTube. They had a Top Gun one. They showed Mulan. Uh, it looks okay. It, it doesn't look Disney like Disney at all to me. I mean, where's the talking dragon? There's none of that in there. But it's like a regular uh, Asian epic cin cinema. It don't look bad. It just don't like it's gonna be a Disney movie. It don't like it's gonna be taking the same stuff they did from the from the cartoon at all. Um, so uh, I'm kind of in between on that one. It don't look bad though. Um, but one thing I do with that find interesting that really surprised me was they actually showed promos for the Disney Plus stuff. Uh, the one I'm really looking forward to is the Falcon and Winter Soldier one. Uh, I'm gonna talk about that one and then the Wand Division one. That looks weird as heck. I don't know what is going on in that one, but maybe somebody can explain it to me. Maybe in the comics, going by the comics. Like I said, I never read the none of those stuff of this stuff anyway. Uh, and then the Loki one, they didn't really show much of Loki, so I probably won't talk about that as much. But the main one is the Winter Soldier and Falcon one. Um, so we see when it first starts. I'm, I got a video on my other phone right here. When we see the video. We see Falcon grabbing Cap's shield that he gave. He handed to him from Endgame. Um, so they show him. And they show him throwing the shield. So I don't know if that means he's training. Or I don't know what's going on with that. But okay. After that they show him show they show him throw the shield. They got the logo up. Then they show these they show him in the in his uh Falcon wings. Going after these, I don't know if he's are they skydiving the, he got some kind of suits on where they like hover. I don't know what's going on with that. Then they also show a scene where Winter Soldier Bucky is pointing a gun at Zemo. So also what's up with that? We don't know. How, what big part Zemo has in this show? I mean, how did he escape? Uh, maybe this has something to do after the events of Endgame, some kind of way he escaped. I don't know yet, but I'm really looking forward to this one. I think this one's supposed to come out sometime this year, I think. Uh, so they show him, like, he's dropping the bullets. That's when they get to WandaVision. Now, this looks weird. <laughs> Look, what's going on in this show? It's like they're, show, okay, they're showing uh, Wanda, they're showing her um, in like a, it's like a 60s, 50s setting, like, I love Lucy or something like that. Oh, I uh, uh, uh Beaver, uh, something like that. I don't know what's going on in this. So they show her. They show her in her her, her regular suit that you see in the comics, her costume. They show her in Vision like they married or something. It's some scenes of black and white. I don't know what is going on in this. It looks. I heard it's supposed to be really, really weird, kind of sitcomish. That's what I heard has a cross between weird and sitcom. I mean, look at it. They're both weird characters. It's a very weird romance because if you look at it, he's a he's a uh, robot android, whatever he, whatever he is, and she's a human. So I don't know. I know in the comics, I've heard people tell me that they actually had kids in the comics. Maybe somebody explain it to me because, I, like I said before, I'm not a comic person. I, I I never I didn't really I didn't read a lot of comics when I was little. I, I randomly let, uh, read comics. I would like see some in Walmart back in the day and just buy them, no kind of order or nothing like that. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe somebody in the comics can explain it to me. It looks very weird. It looks interesting because I want to see what happens on this show. And, and is all this real? Is she going to actually bring back Vision? It's just, I don't know what's going on. It looks crazy. I heard rumors it might be, they might introduce their kids in it. So I don't know. See, these shows, I don't know if it's going to be how many years or how many months after Endgame. But it's crazy. You see, like, it's showing like a like Brady Bunch setting and they show them to, I don't know. I can't explain it. Uh, then you got the part where the Falcon, they show Falcon and Winter Soldier again. I think it's supposed to be like a new Captain America in it or something. It, like it's showing that one Captain America, he has a suit and he's at a football game or something. I guess he's introducing himself or it's like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe someone else is trying to copycat uh, Steve Rogers' persona. I don't know what's going on. So then they show, then they got one division again. Then they're showing Loki. Uh, I can't explain too much of Loki because they didn't really show that much of Loki. It looks like Loki is in some kind of prison getup. I don't know what that means. And he was, and then he said, uh, let me see. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me see. Burn this place to the ground. He's going to burn this place to the ground. So we know this Loki 
is the Loki from the past. This is the, the Loki from Endgame. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I don't know what's going to happen in his show either. Uh, that's all I can tell you guys. That's all the promos they had gave us last night. But it's very interesting. That really, really surprised me. Well, especially the main ones when it surprised me was the, with the Falcon. Which, so that's the main one I'm looking forward to. I'm, I'm definitely going to watch all of them. But that's the main one I'm really looking forward to. I, I just love these characters anyway. I love Falcon and Winter Soldier. They, they were great together in, in uh, Civil War. I like that little, um, the little partnership kind of way. They joke with each other. There's like some parts where they were joking with each other. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one, guys. Um, War Division, is that this year? If someone can correct me. I'm not sure if that's this year or next year. Cause I, I thought maybe it's this this year, because they got all it's only got this to three. Uh the Loki Wand Division and the um with the Falcon with the Soldier one. So I'm assuming since they shown the promos, cause I thought only one was this year or two. Cause I, I know maybe all three of them this year. If someone can correct me in the comments, let me know because I'm confused. I just know the one is this year. I know there's a couple more upcoming. They're supposed to have a, a Hawkeye one. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, what else am I missing? Uh, I think a she. Did they say She-Hulk? We doing a She-Hulk one too? Uh, man, oh man, I can't remember what else. What else shows that they were talking about doing? Oh man, I can't think of the top of my head. But um, I want to tell me what you guys, what y'all think, guys, because I'm really interested in this one. Um. I haven't been on I haven't been on Disney Plus in a while. I haven't even finished the Mandalorian. I gotta finish that up, guys. I'm so far behind. But um I'm really looking forward to that's the main one is the Falcon and Winter Soldier one's the one I'm looking forward to. Uh, I wanna see how he can pick up Cap's persona. I was I mean, because if you look at Falcon, Falcon doesn't have the super super soldier serum in him. So I don't know how he's gonna work this out with the shield. Um they still show him in his Falcon wing, so I'm not sure if he's gonna have full costume like Captain America had on. The whole getup, to me, like I said before, is this argument of who sh who had Cap should have passed the mantle to. Um, I want to at first I was like, you know, they should have did it to Bucky because Bucky's his best friend. But like we seen, we, we come up, we saw him in um with the soldier, and he was getting healed up, you know, starting to get better and kind of well, Civil War he was still out, out there, he was still gone because um, Hydra had brainwashed him, so he got help in Wakanda. But um, we don't know who, if he's all the way healed yet in his mind because he was brainwashed by Hydra. So maybe that's why Cap didn't give uh, Bucky the, the shield. I don't know why, but that would have been, to me, I thought that was what was going to happen. Maybe, or this, maybe that Falcon doesn't keep the shield for long. Maybe, because remember, if you look at it in the end game, he did say he thinks it belongs to someone else. So maybe Falcon's not going to stay Captain America long, maybe just for the show. Maybe he's going to pass the shield to Bucky. I don't know what's going to happen there. But to me, I thought Bucky was a better fitting because they grew up together. They're childhood friends and everything. But I guess because Hydra got to him, made him, you know, crazy, just a, a, a crazy, brutal assassin. So maybe that's why he didn't pass him the shield. I don't know. But maybe, that's what I'm guessing. Maybe Falcon won't be Cap, Captain America's, have, have Captain America's persona for long. Who knows? So I'm very interested in that. WandaVision one is, is really crazy looking. I don't know what's going on in that. The casting's weird. It's supposed to have um Monica Ramble's daughter in this one, which is I'm like, um, don't you think that should have she should have been on Captain Marvel's two movie? Uh the the agent from Ant Man the Wasp, the age the Korean whatever, I'm sorry guys, the Asian guy. I'm like, he's supposed to be in it too. I'm like, okay, that's weird also. And he's supposed to have um what's the girl's name? Uh that was on Thor. The first two Thor, uh, her friend. Oh man, I forgot her name. Shoot, guys, I'm sorry. My mind's a blink right now. Darcy, that's it. Darcy. They said Darcy's supposed to be on Wanda Division too. So I'm like, this is some very odd cast. I don't know what's going on in this show. I don't know. If this is gonna be all in her mind, or I don't know, because you know Wanda is a very weird character. She's weird anyway. Her powers are weird. I love her character though, because she's very powerful. She's <laughs> she almost killed Thanos. She was the main one that almost got Thanos. Well, she was the second person because Thor could have killed him in, in, in a Infinity War. Either way, that's the argument. And who's the strongest between them two? I think I think uh yeah, um, I think they're up and up. They need both the same. Him and her and Thor is like very powerful. Um so uh, and the Floki one, I don't know too much about it because they didn't really show much. So I don't know what's going on with that. But I'm looking forward to that one too, because I I love Loki. He's one of the great he's one of the best one of the best villains in the MCU, other than Thanos. I love Thanos also, but I love Loki. So, guys, let me tell, tell me what you think in the uh, comments below. Um, let me know if you 
explained this better than me because I don't know what exactly was going on. Maybe the comics explained it. I don't think I'm not, not sure if they follow in the comics or not, but let me know, guys. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, I'm really the main one I'm really excited for, like I said before, is the Winter Soldier and the Falcon one. So I really appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, please hit that thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, share with friends and family. I really would appreciate it. Hit the notification bell. And I'll put the link on the bottom for the promos if you haven't seen it. I'm quite sure you guys have seen it by now, but I'll put the promo down there anyway. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.